This tutorial demonstrates various methods for working with individual records within the iForge Ahead system, such as finding a specific record, as well as adding, editing, or deleting a record. In this tutorial, I'm going to be working primarily with contact records, but the techniques that I'm going to demonstrate are consistent throughout the iForge Ahead system and can be used in other areas as well. We'll begin by finding a specific contact record. If you're at the home screen, you can start by clicking look up a contact or from anywhere else in the system, you can go to the menu bar at the top and from the home menu, click on contacts. This will take you to a lookup list of all the contacts in your system. I'm working with a small set of demonstration data here, so all of my contacts are visible in the first screen. When you have many more records in your system, you'll have a pager control here in the upper right as well as at the lower right, and that will allow you to move to page 2 or page 3 or to the last page of your contact list. But it is not necessary for you to page through your records to find the one you're looking for. On the left side of the screen we have a filter tool over here which has a number of controls that you can use to filter the list based on specific criteria. All of these tools work together so if you have one setting in this one up here as well as another one down here, they will work together. The first control allows you to select whether you want to see only horse owners or only non-horse owners or all records regardless of whether they're a horse owner or not. The default that's showing here is all. The second drop-down list allows you to change the type of contact that's displayed. Currently it's showing us all contacts, but under that you have a list of all your different types of contacts within the system. This list here is the default list of contacts that you'll have when you first start with iForge Ahead, but in this system you're able to create your own types as well. So if I click on one of these types, such as Stable, the list will rebuild on this side and it will show me only contacts that are stable records. So that's a handy way to find a specific record. We can change this back by going to the contact type list and selecting all. The next section has the filter by and starts with and these two work together. The starts with drop down gives you a letter and it's saying T give me values that start with a specific letter. The drop down list above that says what field do I want to look in for items that start with that letter. And it defaults to contact name, which is your first column here, but you can use it on other columns as well, such as city, last name, first name, region, etc. We'll leave it set to contact name and change the starts with to R. That will rebuild the list over here and show us only contacts whose contact name starts with R. So the filter shows you various ways to find the record that you're looking for. The last item in the list is active status and the default is to only show you the records that you have marked as active in the system. If you ever need to find a record that you've previously marked as inactive, you can use this filter tool here to look those up. I'm going to set this back to the default of all records. And now we'll begin working with an individual contact record. The contact name field is an underlined link, so you'll simply click on the name that you're looking for to go to that specific record. At this point, you're in a detailed view of one specific contact record. In this screen, we're going to start talking about the different command buttons available within iForge Ahead. 
and command buttons are things that operate commands on certain records such as editing, adding, and deleting. The iForge Ahead system uses a green plus mark for the add command and we have tool tips in here so if you put your mouse over one of these buttons and without clicking just leave it sit there you'll see that the tool tip will come up to say what that button does. So the green plus is to add a record, the pencil symbol is to edit a record, and the X is to delete a record. Let's begin by adding a role to this contact. This ties into the different contact types that we were looking at in the filter list. Right now this contact has no roles, but this is the list of contact types or roles that you have established within the system. I'll begin by selecting Trainer and the other two command buttons that you'll want to know about are the check mark for save and the blue arrow pointing backwards for cancel or undo. You can always use that if you don't want to commit the change to the database. I'm going to check the green check mark which will save this role for this contact. So now we have this contact as a trainer. If we move down here to phone numbers, I'll demonstrate the use of the edit symbol. We'll click on the pencil and that will take this record into an edit row. You'll notice that the background color has changed and that is to help you know where you're working. From this screen, you can change any of the fields related to this phone number, the type or the number itself. So if we just had a digit wrong here, we can change it and then click, click the green check mark to save. The red X allows you to delete a record. So if I no longer need this phone record for the mobile phone, We'll click that and the system will ask you to confirm that you want to delete it. You click OK and that phone number has been removed from this record and from the system. Now these symbols that we've been working with on this screen are for individual phone number records or roles that belong to this specific contact. In the far upper right you'll see additional symbols and these relate to the record overall. So if we need to edit any information about this specific contact, we can click the edit symbol here. And that will take us into an edit form for this contact where you can make adjustments to any of the values in these fields. Once you're finished in this screen making any edits, Remember to click the green check mark to save. Finally, I'd like to point out a couple of features of our drop down lists. We use a lot of drop down lists throughout iForge Ahead to make it easy on you to enter data by simply selecting them from a list. If I go back up here to the roles area and select edit, I have a drop down list and I can select any of the values here. At the bottom of the list is an option called add new. If I click that I'll get a new field where I can type an additional role that isn't already in the value list. I'll enter friend and then click the green check mark to save it. Now that role has been added to our drop down list permanently and can be used on other contact records as well and it's also been selected for this specific record. We'll click save and now this contact has the friend role associated with it. Remember, whenever you're editing data, to always click the green check mark to save your data. 
If you leave a page without clicking the Save button, your changes will be lost. Finally, I'd like to point out that on many screens you'll have an Add New option here in the Actions panel on the left. That will take you to a blank record where you can add a new contact. Thanks very much.